Hi there, we are Thinking Cities team from Ukrainian Catholic University and today we would like to present you our solution to parking problem. So, problem statement. Nowadays cities are growing at an astonishing rate. It's creating exciting opportunities along with day-to-day uh, -day problems. One of such day-to-day -day problems is parking. So let's firstly discover problems with current parking system. First of all, it's a lack of a comprehensive city parking map. So for example, in V we have 81 parking and only 13 of them are present in the map. Situation is even worse in other Ukrainian cities. Uh, secondly, uh, we, it's limited information about free parking spaces in those parking areas. Only the largest parking provider have information about parking availability online. Some are having information about uh, info stands near the entrance, but most, most of the times you just need to drive through the parking in order to find a place. That's causing negative externalities. For example, in the US, an average person is spending 17 hours per year to find, for look, looking for a parking place. The situation is even worse in the UK and Germany. It causes fuel and time waste along with CO2 emissions. Another painful issue is terms and conditions. Um, they are different significantly from parking to parking and they uh, could be ambiguous and complex. Also, the centralized payment system. Some, uh, some parking, parking meters are uh, accepting only coins, while others are accepting ca only cash, and even sometimes you need to install a separate app. For example, we were fined in Budapest because the parking meter accepting only coins, and the maximum free parking time was 15 minutes, so we just were not able to change money in time. Uh, but could this problem be solved? We think yes, and the solution is an app. Uh, and let's reverse engineer this app from problems. First of all, we would like to map all the available for parking areas in the city. Uh, how this could be done? We would integrate commercial parkings, municipal parkings and street parkings uh, using the uh, satellite images and drones images. Here we can see city parking. Also here we can see two commercial parkings mapped out. Another step would be real-time information about parking spaces availability or nearly real-time information. How that could be achieved? We would like to use the data from city cameras. It's real-time data marked here in green. And also we are using the data from dash cameras and um, drones that are, for example, doing some delivery. Dash cameras are installed on all the trams and buses in Lviv and in other Ukrainian cities. So these points are black and they have a timestamp when they were mapped. In addition, uh, you can see the detection demo live here. Uh, the frames are ch changing during the day. Uh, the occupancy changes significantly, but the model is accurate all the way through. Um, another addition is a convenient way to find a parking place. So uh, in addition to seeing all the available places real time. You are seeing other people who are looking for the parking and also you could indicate that you are looking for a parking. So if you are heading to this parking lot, this driver would not see it uh, and he will see only really available parking spaces. Uh, also, finally we would integrate uh, all the terms and conditions into our application, move them to the single template so they are easy to read and integrate them with the payment system so you would pay right away from the system. Also the payment data could be used to forecast occupancy uh, over the time. So the whole picture. Uh, in addition we would integrate the traffic API and integrate the calendar application. Uh, that will help us to build the complete application Imagine the situation, you are at home uh, and you are having a meeting scheduled at the restaurant in the city center at 7 p.m. Our application would be able to find the parking lot near the restaurant. It will be able to estimate the driving time there and give you a notification when you should leave home to be in time at this parking lot 
and to be on time in the restaurant. No strain anymore. So our data sources. As it was mentioned previously, we are using three primary data so sources. It's a city and parking and surveillance cameras. The data... Hi there. Uh, I'm here to talk about technical stuff. Uh, if you had asked me about uh, this project before, I would say it was not possible to implement it. But with slightest improvement in computer vision, it's possible. Uh, here we're using the Masker CNN model. It was uh, it was used it was published on CVPR uh, last year. It produces state of the art result in uh, object detection and segmentation. Uh, the data sets uh, that we have used. So uh, the first one is the CNPR park. Uh, it's that set from the surveillance camera on the parkings. Uh, each parking slot is marked as uh, busy or free and uh, it contains almost 2,000 uh, images. The second one is a very, really huge data set, it's called Cityscapes. Uh, it was taken uh, from the car driving in a lot of cities and uh, as you see in the, on this image, uh, each uh, object is segmented and we use only two classes from that, is uh, car and uh, parking. Uh, also we validated our uh, model on uh, our custom images taken from the taken view uh, they, uh, this one that you could see it's uh, in parking place and you see you. So uh, what our training procedure. So we uh, fine tune the Masker CNN model that was printed on a huge dot set Coco, and uh, we used also augmentation that somehow trans transferred images and rotated them. Uh, is example you can see on the photo. It took almost two days of training on GPU machine and uh, as you can see there's this plot of error and our model converged and have a really good accuracy. Hi there once again. I will cover a business part of our solution and first of all I'd like to talk about our competitors because in one of the other way you already heard about some solution for uh, city parking and I'd like to tell you why we are different and why we, our solution is better than the existing one. So uh, we can divide our competitors into two main groups. Uh, the first one is the solution for individual parking. Uh, this solution is good for high accuracy and high customizability of the, for the individual parking slot for example. And the other available solution, they are like more on a big scale, they are for uh, city level, level and they are good for any outdoor and public parking and they also have a lot of different sensors that uh, have a pretty good um, accuracy as well. But these two uh, solutions that are available on the market, they have different uh, sensors and cameras they use for their solution and the problem is that these sensors and cameras cost a lot and so it turns out that these solutions are not very uh, cheap to implement them in a big scale and with that we can came to main points why our solution is so good our solution could use any data source you could find practically even on the internet including any photos and videos and moreover we can use uh, data sources that are available from the existing solution and we could integrate them into our solution just to improve our model and besides that our solution covers uh, the whole end-to-end -end process starting from the need of a free parking slot and finishing with the uh, payment for your parking so we could cover the hole that lies in between of that and that I think is one of the main advantages of our solution. And besides that I would like to tell you about our business model. So we decided to divide our solution into two stages. First stage is MVP that will contain basic functionality of our application. For example, the ability to search a free parking slot and also it will contain unified terms and conditions that will be like a basic 
set of rules that will be unified for different parkings over the city. Uh, this, this, this version will be dedicated for uh, attracting more users for our platform and it will uh, get some money from ads or maybe some grant money just to cover cost for software and hardware available that will be needed for this project. Uh, the expected duration of this stage is six months and later on we will come to second stage of our project and in this stage we will add all the additional functionality, for example, integration with different payment system, uh, integration with traffic API, calendar, and the ability to build a road to your free parking slot. And also in this stage we will add different plan subscriptions just to monetize our solution. And we see that it, that it could be done in about 15 months. Uh, so yes, yeah, that's probably it and we hope that in a year or so you will be able to park your car near the venue with our solution and with that, uh, have a nice parking. Bye bye.